Hello and welcome back to Bannerlord Modded. It's been a while since I've actually uh, done a video. I do apologize for that. Uh, sometimes real life gets in the way and generally I haven't had much to do in the game, unfortunately. The times that I picked it up, I literally have had nothing going on, which is very frustrating indeed. However, I have now just been notified that our son Bruce here, obviously we had him with Sylvan, and as you can see, it makes a huge difference to his stats. Just look at his stats. He is an absolute monster. If he's going to level up finally into an actual adolescent slash adult, then he's going to be great. He's really going to be pretty fantastic. Anyway, you can see here, people remark on how much the baby resembles his parents. Bruce definitely has your social. Social increased by one. This is actually a very weird animation and certainly something I don't want to see for much too... Okay, I was wrong. This is the, this is the weird one. And then, okay, no, I think that might be the weirdest one. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why they went with this. All right, all right. Okay, so we don't need vigor. We don't need control. I think social is probably going to be the most important one, so we'll go with that one. And at the same time, he shows his mother's... Well, we're probably going to go for intelligence or social here. I will go for social again. Despite his tender age, the baby already starts to show some aptitude in endurance and control. Okay, ah... Uh, Yes. Ah, uh, okay. I, I don't really know what to make of the animations. For the most part, I think that some of them are... Uh, kind of... A bit, a bit weird. I don't know. Maybe it's just me? Is it just me? Maybe it's just me. Anyway, he's going to be increasing his endurance and control, which means that he now has 10 in control without actually even leveling up once. He's literally... He's, he's literally two years old. He's two years old right now, which is just insane. It really is. Anyway, basically, I am on my way to the Azurai now. And Nuka was apparently killed in a battle against Manhunters? Is Yep, he's a noble of the Azurai. Suck it, I guess. Take that. Yeah, take that, Mr. Nuka. You're not you're not having a very good time of things, are you? Getting killed by that thing. Getting killed by some Manhunters. How embarrassing for you, sir. Anyway, we're now going to launch an attack against the Azurai. So we're going to declare war. We're going to just go for that. I've been waiting for this because the war exhaustion has just about depreciated enough, or should we say declined enough, that we're going to be able to do something here. As you can see, we just about have enough to be able to start because otherwise it would just increase at a, at a dramatic pace and then we'd be back in a peace situation which is certainly not something we really want to have anyway i'm faster than this guy so i'm gonna try and get him into a battle and as i say it's been a while since i've actually been playing like in a in an actual battle rather than just waiting around and doing a, a couple of kingdom management things because obviously i still need to keep up my gold reserves in my town i need to make sure that the loyalty is still good I need to make sure that my money situation is also uh, working out in our favor. And I also need to make sure that the construction projects are still going swimmingly. And they are all going fine. No problem at all there. But, obviously, I haven't really had anyone to fight. Which is very disappointing indeed. Anyway, let's get a... Uh, wait a minute. What? Why do I have... Wait a minute. Did I just have... Did, did you see that? Did I have two weapons equipped right there? Did I have two pole arms or something? I'm actually not entirely sure. Oh, well, then mine are mine. Nothing I need to worry about right now. Let's just concentrate on getting some headshots. Oh, yeah. There we go. That was a nice headshot if I do see so myself. Can I get another one? Can I get 275 in riding skill? I would like it. I feel like they should give you skill for hitting shields. I know, I know. You shouldn't really get skill for hitting shields, but you're generally hitting something, so I suppose it's kind of maybe cool to do that but i understand why they don't do that yes there we are we finally reached 275 and that means we're going to be able to take the highest ranking riding skill perk which is increasing our maneuverability and our charge damage now i gotta say i am always underwhelmed by the amount of damage that charge actually does it is 
very limiting indeed. But we've got to bear in mind that, well, eh, even even if you do, you know, 5 or 10 damage with your horse, that's still 5 or 10 damage that you didn't have before. So I suppose we should just be thankful that we have any damage whatsoever from the horse as it is uh, sometimes actually kind of useful. Sometimes kind of useful. Um, for the most part, not so much, but sometimes it can help you out a little bit. Anyway, I'm just going to try and reload my crossbow a little bit more here. Maybe get a nice little headshot, a nice little kill here and there. Because I would like to get to 275 crossbow as well. And bear in mind that this is the best and easiest way to do that. Getting kills is generally the best way to do it. That does give you the highest amount of experience gain. Nice. There it is, a wonderful victory for us, and we can now move on, hopefully to besiege Askar itself, and maybe even take it. I think it would be quite nice if we could do that. So this guy absolutely hates us, by the way, as you can quite clearly tell. So if he, or his clan, and I'm, I'm saying this very, very carefully right here, because if he were to take us prisoner, there is almost... It's almost a certainty that he would execute us straight away. So I'm very worried about this. He actually is the Lord of Askar as well. Oh, you know, I really wish there were more options. I wish there were more options with what you can do with potential prisoners. In other words, I'd love to be able to barter with this guy and basically say, hey, give me your fief and then I'll let you go. You know, that kind of thing. But that is going to be very, very difficult to make work. Especially considering you know you have no idea where you know what kind of resolve these guys have, and it would require a little bit of an extra statistic to be added potentially to make that a thing. Anyway, we're just gonna let him go, even though he still hates us like no one's business. But hopefully, in due time, that will change, and then hopefully we can get it above negative fifty, because negative fifty is the threshold when executions are even possible, basically. So we, we want to be a bit careful of that. Anyway, we're just going to take all the loot. And we're going to see what we can do at Askar itself. I am actually pretty far away from it now because he did take us on a bit of a merry ride away from the most important fief. And uh, generally, I would say that Askar is maybe the most important, as I say, in the southern areas. Because it has such cheap horses. And if you want to make quick money, well... That's probably the way to do it. Anyway, we did reach 275 in riding skill, so we're going to take that last perk, which increases your charge damage and maneuver by one for each 10 riding skill over 200, which is not bad, i got to say. Not bad. The maneuverability is definitely going to be handy. Thrust attacks with pole arms, 5% increased damage. Don't really care about that, but I never, ever swing my pole arm. So I'm going to be taking the thrusting damage. All right, so we got our trebuchets up and running. As you can see, we're actually inflicting heavy casualties right now to the opponent, but I'm also taking heavy casualties, and we have to be very careful about how we do this because we know that performing a siege, it's very risky nowadays, very, very risky. You can see here that I've already lost... How many did I have before? I had like 100 and... I think 170 or something like that, or 180 or something. And now I have 134, but you can see the enemy has a relatively similar amount. So I'm just going to wait here for a little bit of time, bombarding the opponent as much as I possibly can. And now I'm going to have to go in. I'm pretty much forced to go in here because Ashisa is right there with her army. And we do need to be very careful about that. So Bash Your Face Thanks is going to get equipped. Let's do it. Let's go straight on in. And see what we can do. Now, this is obviously one of the first sieges that we've done in a very long time. It's been a while since we've participated in one. And generally, as you can no doubt tell, we're kind of... Well, not really prepared as much as we could be. But I'm hopeful that we have at least something built. Do we have... We don't... We, we didn't really... Are you serious? 
We didn't build anything. Really? I thought we built the battering ram at least, but apparently we didn't build that. Did we build a siege tower? Uh, no. Apparently we didn't do any, any of that. Yes. Great. <sighs> well, that would be the way, wouldn't it? Yes, that would be the way. But nothing, nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about at all. We will uh, lift the ladder. I will do the ladder. Yes, thank you. Let's go. Let's go, fellas. I'm ready. I have bash your face, thanks, as my weapon. And I am prepared to inflict grievous harm with it. Unfortunately, I am... Oh, I am the only one going up this ladder. And if I get shot, this is not going to be very pleasant. Enemies are coming around. They know that I'm trying to get up here, you see? Look at that. Okay, thankfully I have now gotten on top. Let's see if I can maximize the amount of damage that I can deal. Hello, friends. Would you like to say hi? I think they would. Look at that damage. Oh, you. Ooh, you got murdered, sir. Okay, I'm going to switch to my crossbow here. Try and shoot these guys. Oh, oh. Are, are we actually on the walls? Apparently some, some of my people are actually on the walls now. That's fantastic. Hello there. I don't think anyone can actually beat... Bash your face, thanks. Although they, they might be able to beat my one-handed skill. Because I don't really have very good one-handed skill. Oh, the blood just coming off right there. That is actually crazy, the amount that is actually being inflicted here. But I am hitting their head, so that is obviously to be expected, I would assume. Come on now. Oh. Oh, this is, this is a bit much. This is... Oh, hello there. Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, that is a bit much. I even even I cannot take on such a <laughs> such a large amount of people. All right. Oh no no. All right. I think we're pretty good. I think we're pretty good, but we do have to be very careful about the enemies in here. I'm not a big fan with how my mace is actually working at the moment. I feel like it might have a too long a handle. I think so, at least. I think the handle is making this a little bit unwieldy in close quarters combat. Ah, of course I would ah, mistime that. Yeah, fantastic. Thankfully, I'm taking very little damage right now, mainly because my armor is fantastic. Because it is, of course, scavenged from the bodies of our enemies, I believe, at least. Okay, I'm going to try and take out this archer over here. I think that's all she wrote. I think that is it. Yes, indeed. Askar is now ours, which is fantastic. Now, bear in mind that obviously... Oh, wait. Um, are you serious? What? That is actually crazy. Wow. Okay. Well, that's pretty crazy. That is actually kind of amazing. I am really surprised that we actually gained such a large amount. I've not changed any settings, by the way, since the last episode, so this is very weird. I mean, obviously, it doesn't really matter at this point what uh, what we actually gain because we're already pretty much maxed out with the exception of our 
clan tier. And I think we're almost, uh, yeah, we're halfway, halfway. It's still going to take a pretty considerable amount of time, but still, there we go. All right, we're going to show mercy to Ascar right here. I'm actually going to claim the, claim the thief because I would like to be able to keep it for myself, if at all possible. And we're just going to go into improved garrison here and we're just going to change how these things work so we're going to enable recruitment i'm going to increase this rather dramatically to about 350 and i'm not going to send out a recruiter or anything like that we're going to do garrison training we're going to go for tier 4 troops i think that seems pretty good to me and i'm not going to create a guard party at the moment because guard parties usually will use the garrison to supply themselves and that is going to make things very very difficult for me so i'm hopeful that we can uh, hopefully work with it without doing that. Anyway, let's go and manage the town a little bit, see what's going on here. We'll just give them a little bit to increase their construction speed. And I actually don't even need to do anything, to be honest, because the walls were not taken down by me. They were not taken down at all. And the food supplies that they currently have here are pretty crazy. So I, I also don't need to worry about that, which is pretty cool. Otherwise, I'm thinking we're probably going to stay with training militia or as our daily and we'll just wait here for some time and we'll see exactly what happens no doubt these guys oh hello there got a bunch of these guys who are those Cortanians, i believe Cortanian vlandians or something like that but anyway i think we're pretty good here as long as there isn't an army with i don't even know how many like what a thousand units, say if it's 500 units, 600, or something like that. As long as there isn't an army with that amount of people coming at us, I think we should have a pretty decent shot at maintaining control of Ascar. So we'll see what happens. Oh, hello. <gasps> there we go. We've got a big army coming in. That's fantastic. Let's actually see if I can do something here. How many do I have in my army right now? 125. I might be able to make something uh, something happen here. Let's just see. Let's just uh, spend our athletics perk real quick. Slightly increase your persuasion chance. Okay. Why is this in athletics? I don't know. Um, but otherwise, increase this... Oh, yeah. Cra okay. Crafting. I, I don't really care about that either. Uh, we'll, we'll go for the increased persuasion chance, even though that's... Mm -hmm. I would say probably not really going to help that much. But anyway, let's go in here. I'm going to just switch back to my other weapon, which is, of course, known as... Uh, is it the ultimate thruster? Is it is it really that? Yeah, apparently it is. Huh. I thought I'd call it something different. Oh, well, well it's fine, it's fine. No, not a problem, not a problem. Okay, so let's do this. All right. This might be, this might be pretty, oh, they're, they're surrendering? I'm actually surprised. Very wise decision. All right, yeah, sure, let's capture the enemy. And uh, I'm going to let them go because, oh, wow, they really hate me. Wow, look at this. Yeah, it's because we took their fief just now. Um, technically, what I could do is I could execute all of these people, but then they would hate me and a lot of other people would also feel the same way. Um, but if I, if I wanted to execute anyone, I should have executed this guy. Because the remaining people in here are not particularly the strongest. So we would be in a pretty good situation to eliminate the entire clan. But obviously that, doing that is very dishonorable and people are going to be very wary of us going forward. And they're probably going to be much more likely to execute us if we do get ourselves taken prisoner. Which is very likely in this day and age. But I'm going to let it go anyway. There we go. All right, all right. Okay, so I'm going to take the prisoners because we have the space. Do we? Uh, kind of. I'm going to let some of them go. Let's just let some of these guys go. Tier 1s. There we are. Do we have... Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. All right, not bad. And we didn't even have to fight them. They literally just surrendered straight up. I'm actually kind of surprised about that. I would have expected them to fight that because our combat strengths were relatively similar. And I'm, I'm pretty surprised. I, I really have no idea why they would just give up. 
It doesn't really make much sense to me, but oh well, never mind. I don't really mind, I guess. Uh, okay, so let's just take a quick look at what else we have here. Nothing really of value, so I'm just going to sell all of it for 15000 I say nothing of value, but there, there actually is quite a bit, which is pretty nice. And let's just take a quick look at what else is happening here. So we're actually... Oh, look at this. We're actually going to take Iakis. That's fantastic. The war exhaustion of the Azari is increasing by the day. An extreme amount. Look at this. Their combat strength is basically nothing right now. This is really, really good. They lost two big armies, I believe, in quick succession. And now Mirko is going to try and take Iakis as well. Anyway... That's going to be it for this episode. I know a bit more of a shorter one, but I thought, hey, you know what? Let's just uh, leave it on a high note, shall we? And uh, we're going to get back into doing uh, daily content once again. So, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate your understanding at the very least. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.